Hi everyone and welcome. We're out here in my backyard and it's a fairly mild day. And we've even got a couple milder days on the way. They're talking about temperatures in the high 50s tomorrow. And then uh, another day in the 50s the day after. So I believe that the, uh, the outdoor worm bin should be safe outdoors now. I had taken it indoors. And that's why it's no longer in its little plastic tub here. It's actually in a enclosed space within my house. It's kind of a dead space though, because it's an old stairwell that used to lead up to the second floor, which is no longer in use. So the stairs just lead up to a boxed in ceiling now. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that worm bin and we're gonna bring it back outside and reintroduce it to the outside fresh air. Because the, uh, the really scary cold temperatures that we had the other day, when I was worried about the bin freezing over are gone now, so I think it's safe again to bring our outdoor worm bin back outside. And while we're at it, I've got my glove, as well as my my mount for my forehead, so we can put the GoPro on my head while we're picking around to check out the, uh, the contents of the bin, see how they're doing. So let's get to work. Knock, knock, worms. Please let me in. Not a very frequently used door, so it doesn't really work very smoothly. But here we are. Here's the worm bin. And I just uh, sort of detached it from its little enclosing plastic garbage pail because that just wouldn't fit in here. <laughs> I'm kind of cramped in here the way it is. So I'm going to grab this thing and bring it outside and we could take a closer look at uh, what's happening inside of it. Voila! We're back in the outside tub, and we're back in the outside air. So I was just growing a little bit concerned about the uh, the contents of this bin being in that room temperature for multiple days on end, because I know that there's black soldier fly larvae in here, and my, my main concern was that the black soldier fly larvae might begin to reactivate and get active again, and actually start transforming into black soldier flies and zipping around my house <laughs> so that was my main reason for wanting to get this thing back out into the cool temperatures because the worms don't seem to mind it so much i just know that the black soldier fly larvae tend to slow down a lot when the temperature gets that cold so i uh i was not gonna feed today the last time i fed which was at this point 32 days ago I had acknowledged the fact that the um the food that I had placed in here most recently was maybe unnecessary and I believe this is already some of it because if you look throughout the bin there's just so much food material and uncomposted material that the worms can work on that this bin at least at that time I had suspected that I could probably go multiple months without needing to feed this bin. And I believe that that's a fair assessment, especially if the worms are gonna be staying out here in the relatively cool temperatures, because in the cool temperatures, the worm composting activity will slow down quite a bit. So I'm assuming that I'll look back in here in another couple months and find a good amount of remaining food left over because when I bought these worms over from my outdoor compost tub they came over with all kinds of um, materials that were not yet composted down they were simply occupying that material and all that stuff came over with them and then on top of that I even added feedings which were probably completely unnecessary but it just felt like a, a nice thing to do. <laughs> Although, you know, when I go picking around here, it does seem like the stuff that I had actually placed in here as they were feeding 32 days ago is starting to dwindle down, unless it's just mixed in somewhere and I'm not finding it. But it was a pretty good, generous amount of leaves that had been thrown in here. 
and I guess some of these stems too. And we're finding a little bit of it in here, but not a whole lot. This is like the stem. All this stuff I believe would have been part of that last feeding. And, uh, and even after they polish that stuff off, all this other stuff within the bin is just fair game as well. This is a mango seed. Mango seeds are always pretty popular spots for the worms. Seems like they usually want to get inside and eat the, um, the seed itself. And here too, if we peek inside, we can see the, um, the black soldier fly larvae. They also got a um, claim on these food items over here. And it's my understanding that these black soldier fly larvae are probably still alive. It's just that in the cold they go dormant. And then um, and they'll go for many, many months in that state. And once the weather becomes more favorable for them, they'll just sort of spring back to life and continue their process of trying to turn into, a, into an adult fly. And I believe it was those little guys that I worried the most about, you know, having this bin in the um, stairwell, being exposed to, I guess, room temperatures for the most part, maybe a little cooler since that section of the house doesn't really have any heat vents or anything like that, but definitely protected from the cold winter air. I just worried that the um, black soldier flies might actually start coming back to life and becoming active, transforming into flies, potentially occupying the house. I, I think that's a little far-fetched. I don't think I really had anything of that nature to really be too concerned about. But, you know, since I'm not really that knowledgeable on the entire topic, I just prefer to remain a little bit more safe than possibly sorry later. But um, I'm going to be leaving this container outside at this point, but I wanted to um, throw a little bit of leafy matter across the top here. And I don't even know if I'm going to really consider that as a feeding. I'm going to treat it more as sort of insulation slash bedding in a way. And I've got some leaves over here. This is around the back side of the holly bush over behind the garage. And it's over here that I keep my uh, supply of dry leaves that I've collected. So I've got car garbage pails inverted, covering them up to keep them protected from uh, getting soaked. But I've also got a little bit of leftovers here from one bag that had uh, torn open and it got disintegrated. So I figured a, a couple handfuls of this stuff would be perfect as sort of a layer of insulation to protect our outdoor worm bin. So we'll just bring this nice, generous portion of leafy material over here and drop it right on top. And you know, I got a funny feeling that the worms are gonna end up occupying this stuff. I don't know why. My only concern is that it might be a little bit dry. Take out stuff for that looks like it's not compostable. My only concern is that it might actually be a little bit dry and that it might end up pulling a lot of the moisture out of the material that's in the bin now. And the material probably uh, doesn't need that to happen to it. So I believe I'm actually gonna leave this uncovered because there is rain expected over the next couple days and that'll dampen all of this stuff really nicely. And then I'll return to covering it all up I'll put the plastic coverings back on and the wood to hold the plastic down and all that other fun stuff. But for now, I'm gonna leave this whole thing uncovered. Let the rain fall on it for the next day or two. And then we'll, uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll restore the coverings to this thing. So that's it. That's where we stand with my outdoor worm bin today. And I guess I'm gonna register this as a feeding because all this stuff is definitely worm food. Definitely worm food. And, um, and that's that. So, 
let me uh, get myself put away. I don't even think there's much to put away. I could just take this glove off for the most part because it's kind of dry and clean. I've got nothing to put away because this is staying where it is. So all I got to do at this point is just to say thank you. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around and keeping me company. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video and hope you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. I always really appreciate that. And also consider subscribing to the channel too if you haven't done so already. That's really appreciated as well. All right, everyone, have a great day. Take care. Bye now.